Chris Algieri. Welcome to the Champion Lifestyle. What's going on, Team Algieri? Welcome to another edition of the Champion Lifestyle Training Camp Edition. I am on my way to my boxing training right now with uh, my trainer Keith Trimble over at Belmore Kickboxing. I just got off the phone with my trainer in Las Vegas, uh, Tim Bring the Pain Lane, um, and we're just going over a little bit of game plan before uh, each session. I like to talk to both my coaches, you know, even though I have one coach who's across the country, I like to check in with him every single day, uh, sometimes multiple times a day, and we just talk about strategy and, and, and setting up what what we're doing at each training session so I get the most out of it and get you know, the most efficient use of my time and my coach's time, Keith Trimble. Um, it's also good, a uh, little bit of team unity, keep us all on the same page. Um, also, just man, just helps me keep my mind right and keep me ready ready, ready to do what I need to do and, and have the game plan set out. You know, strategy is a big part of my boxing game and uh, you know, just going out there and, and trying to be a master boxer. You know, that's 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 the ultimate goal. Go out there and, and be perfect for, for ten rounds or less. But um, you know, I'm feeling good about this fight. Training camp's going well so far. Um, had a great sparring session yesterday. Um, looking forward to uh, some training right now. Then I got some training conditioning after that. I'll check back in for that one. And um, yeah, so that uh, that's it for now. Headed into the boxing gym, and uh, I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, take care. Okay, I just finished up my boxing workout with Keith Trimble over at Belmore Kickboxing. Had him on my way over to uh, Beth Page Physical Therapy to work with Dr. Mike Camp. We um, got some strength conditioning. My workouts are a little tight today. I don't normally like to train so close together, but um, sometimes that happens because of you know scheduling and whatnot. My coach's time and availability, and my time and my availability. So we gotta we gotta make it work. So in between workouts like this, uh, where you know they're, they're very tightly, tightly scheduled. I don't like to eat in between uh, anything solid. I, I really can't train with uh, with a solid meal on my stomach, so I will drink a meal in between. So I usually do like a protein shake with some Gatorade, get some sugar, get some protein, um, and recover from the last workout. Give myself a little bit of juice, a little bit of zap for the next workout, and um, I'll usually sip Gatorade or some kind of some kind of electrolyte carbohydrate drink during the workout. So as to not fade. Now we're in the last phase of strength conditioning at this point, so the workouts are shorter, they're higher intensity, but you know the duration is not as long, so I don't have to worry so much about having that much uh, fuel in uh, in my body in terms of in terms of my meals. But you know I I, carb I probably carbohydrate loaded for breakfast and dinner last night, so I should be fine for these workouts today. But that's it for now. Head it out over there, and I will talk to you guys soon. What's up, Team Algeria? Just uh, closing out the day. Finished up my second workout. I uh, actually got a massage. That's uh, one of the the uh, recuperative things that I do during training camp. I, I'd like to get two massages during the week. Uh, I usually do midweek around Tuesday and then another one again on Friday. I do both after my strength and conditioning sessions uh, just to keep my body fresh for sparring. Um, you know, my strength coach, Dr. Mike Camp, is really great at, at you know, making my workout so it's to make me better but not and, and not to you know beat me down and break me down from my boxing you know because when it comes down to it I'm a boxer I'm not a bodybuilder I'm not a uh, a runner or anything like that so your strength and conditioning should not affect your boxing um, but just in case I, I, I like to get my uh, massages and take care of my body take Epsom salt baths and, and ice baths and make sure I'm taking care of my body in between and after a strength conditioning session so I do feel you know my best during boxing so I can really work on technique because at this stage of the game, um, you know, I, I stay in shape year-round, even though we do pick it up during camp. But uh, it's all about getting better. You know, skills pay the bills, man. So you gotta, you gotta go out there and 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 do your best in in every training session, just so you can, you know, get better each fight and get better each camp. And uh, you know, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. So, because everyone out there is training hard and getting better, so gotta be doing the same thing. At the same time, got I'm gotta take care of my body, you know, because I'm, I'm already feeling it. You know, this week it's been a it's been a tough couple of days. Um, you know, we got like five sessions in in the past like thirty hours or so. Tomorrow will be a little lighter. I got half a day off and then sparring in the afternoon. You know, and then uh, more sparring on another day after that, and closing up the week um, on Friday with some with some more you know boxing and strength conditioning and another massage. But 
you know, that's in me just checking in and checking out. Uh, hope everybody's all good out there. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Team Algeria. Champion Lifestyle. Check it out. Be good.